Hi everyone, uh, Alex Slezak here, and I'm making this video uh, for paddleplayer.com. Um, and it's real, what it really is, is it's a fitness tip, and it's, it's uh, talking about a way that you can prevent a very common injury um, in regards to um, playing paddle. And one of the most common injuries that we see all the time, uh, when pe especially men, when they play paddle, is when you're going back for the overhead, and you jump up to hit it, and then you land on that back leg, and then you strain the, the Achilles tendon that's down here on the bottom uh, part of your ankle, and it wraps around to the bottom part of your foot. And I want to explain why that's a really common injury. Well first, as we age, um, the tendons, the soft tissues in our body, they, come, uh, they become much less pliable and much more reactive, especially um, for a lot of us who are spending time sitting, sitting at a desk all day, really just aren't engaged in a whole lot of physical activity. Um, your soft tissues change a little bit. Um, if you're a football player or, or somebody that's doing something very athletic all the time where you're making cuts, the tendon it, it becomes much more pliable and uh, it also becomes uh, a lot stronger as well. Um, but for the recreational paddle player, what we have is they're going back and they plan on that back foot and the problem that, it, that occurs is we have um, a conflicting forces going on at the Achilles tendon. What we have is we have, when we plant and land, we have a lengthening of that tendon and at the same time we're trying to push off as well, so we have a shortening of that, of, of that area as well um, because it's connected to the, the muscles. So this, th this idea where the tendon lengthens and then shortens again is exactly what causes the injury and uh, a ruptured tendon is definitely something that's uh, going to need to be repaired surgically. Um, I want to try and show you a way that uh, some really simple things that you can do to prevent that from happening. Um, and really what it revolves around is this concept be be behind soft tissue work. Um, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, uh, I recommend you visit uh, my Complete Fitness website. It's alexleezakcompletefitness.com, and uh, there'll be a link for that right below this video. But um, the very first thing that I want to show you is um, before I always go on to play a paddle match and really before I go to do my workout and a lot of different things with tennis, I do a, a soft tissue routine or really a self-massage routine uh, over my body. One of the easiest things that you can do is take a platform tennis ball and when you're getting warmed up before when you're sitting in the hut, what you do is you put this platform tennis ball on the ground and now you put it right underneath your calf muscle and then what you do is you work with some pressure and some tension. And what that does is that actually stimulates the muscle and the Golgi tendon, tendon organ to kind of relax. And really what it is is it's some self-massage and it just breaks apart um, all that, that difficult, that, that, uh, you know, the tissue that, that gets tight. You can also move it down, you should move it down a little bit closer to your Achilles uh, tendon and really work that and just try and loosen that area up. In doing that, um, <laughs> at first when you probably start to do that, if you haven't done it very often, um, if you've never done it before or really had self-massage before, um, it can be a little bit painful at first. Um, but, what you're, but what that's doing is it's relieving the muscle tension um, that's pulling on the Achilles tendon to begin with, and it's also um, loosening up the tendon as well a little bit to make it a little bit more pliable. And that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to make your tissues more pliable. Now, on top of that, what happens is once your tissue is pliable, that's a great thing, but we also have people who have limited ankle mobility. And what I mean by that is people who have a, a tendency to sit all day, that you should get about 20 to 30 degrees of um, what's called dorsiflexion, which is basically from your, your, the top of your foot up coming up to your shin. So you should be able to decrease that, the angle between the top of your shoe and the shin probably about 20 to 30 degrees of movement. That's normal uh, dorsiflexion. So, a lot of people are missing that range of motion. And in missing that range of motion, after you loosen up those tissues and you've gained a little bit of mobility there, you also want to try and work that around. So I have a resistance band here. I'm going to put it right underneath my toe. I'm going to pull it back with good posture. And now I'm going to let that decrease the angle and I'm going to push it away. So now what I've done is I have some tissue that's a little bit softer and at the same time, I'm mobilizing my joint a little bit better. If you don't have a resistance band or something that you can do, what else, the other thing that you can do is you can just go head out and go against the fence or something else and, and just really try and lean in and try and decrease the angle as far as you possibly can between the top of your shin, uh, or between your shin and the top of your foot. You'll notice that most people will only be able to be get be able to get somewhere around here, and that limited ankle mobility is really going to put a lot of stress um, on the Achilles tendon when you go back and you go to hit your overheads. So, just to wrap this video up, um, common injury, 
is of the Achilles tendon. When you go backwards, you have a lengthening and a shortening of, of the, the, all the tissues that are back there. When, when that happens, you're gonna have a, a, a higher chance for injury. One of the things that you can do, take a paddle ball or take a lacrosse ball, something like that, loosen up that area, do some self-massage, and then mobilize that area um, with a resistance band or maybe even against the wall or against the fence. If you do that before your paddle matches and actually do that on a regular basis, I think you, you're going to feel that your ankles are feeling a lot better and um, you're gonna decrease your chance for uh, injury. So thanks for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.